Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we're going to have a first look at this Android L which is the new version of Android that was announced in Google I.O. 2014. And as you can see I have this uh, Nexus 5 with me and I've installed that Android L and we have uh, Google has released uh, images for Nexus 5 and Nexus 7. So if you are comfortable with flashing you can flash them i'll have the link for uh, the images in the show notes and this is the new version of android as you can see uh, from the home screens uh, it looks the color palette is a little bit different uh, one thing i did notice is that if you go towards the left like this you don't get google now uh, for google now you have to go like this and here you can access again you'll notice that the keyboard also has been changed now and this is the new style of keyboard that we get also you'll notice that the icons have changed this is the back this is the home and this will be for the multitasking and as you can see one more interesting thing is that now for multitasking it has cards like this so this is the new multitasking and as you can see uh, you can see a lot more things in my opinion uh, using this new multitasking option on this android l and before that uh, let me also show you one more thing again we have that ok google uh, always listening so you can just say okay google it worked <laughs> but right now it's not working uh, so maybe it's a beta release again guys so understand that and google also does not recommend that you install this on a working production phone one more thing i did notice is that drop down if, if you get the notifications you just do this and you'll get to your notifications but if you further pull it down you get to your quick settings like this and from here you can change your wi-fi uh, location etc we don't have this uh, double finger swipe that we had in the earlier version of android and you can also uh, go to the settings directly from here as you can see you can adjust the brightness and if you want to go to the settings this is how you go and again this has also been changed now we have this white background instead of that black background we had on kitkat and uh, it's a personal opinion one thing i did notice is that if you just go uh, to the extreme you get this animation like this if you go down or towards the top uh, if you go to about the phone it just says the android version is version l does not specify anything and again it's a beta release and if i hold it for a while i just get to this it does not uh, display the android version like android version 5 or anything like that so that's for that so let me get out of this one and it's as you can see this is a beta build uh, so let me just get out of this one Another thing I did notice is that uh, icons have been changed a little bit. Let's go to the battery here also. I saw uh, this is the new layout that we are getting and uh, this is how you get to see the thing. So again, there's a lot of color difference in my opinion. I've just flashed it uh, just a couple of minutes ago. Hence, we do not have a lot of data. So these are the settings and we do get some subtle animations as you can see. I'm just tapping on that display. You get those subtle animations here. Uh, apart from that, I also noticed that the dialer has been significantly changed. And if you just go to the dialer, again, if you tap, you get that animation. Let me go out of this. And if I uh, uh, go back to contacts, uh, let me just show you the contacts app. That's the people app. Here also you can see the icons have been changed up a little bit for example this is your favorites this is your contacts so they have changed a few things but i did not notice a lot of changes in chrome for example this is the chrome web browser let's just go to our website that's techtubers.com again the keyboard has been changed and again as you can see it's loading it perfectly fine uh, I like this new multitasking, I would say. And let's open some new tabs. Uh, Google said that even separate tabs can be accessed uh, from the multitasking. For example, we have two tabs open now. And uh, and as you can see directly, uh, no, it's not showing us tech to bus. So that might be implemented on a later stage. Google says that uh, even different tabs can be directly accesses from this multitasking but looks like as of now it's not implemented so this is the new multitasking tray and uh, let me just swipe away if you click x it obviously closes and you can also swipe away to kill an app 
the first thing that I got uh, when I uh, flashed it and this was the screen and as you can see it says it's a warning that uh, this is not a stable uh, release kind of a beta so don't install it on your production device so this is uh, we have folders like that only and uh, and the icons have we changed also the calculator the color combination is a little bit different i would say again we get that subtle animations when you tap as you can see and this is the scientific calculator so the calculator has been changed and apart from that i haven't seen a lot of changes as of now again this is pretty stock i just installed it so these are the apps that are pre-installed uh, again uh, do note that if you flash it it will wipe the entire data of your phone so nothing would be there as of now as you can see i have nothing installed i have about 12.5 gb space left so that's it for now for this quick uh, first look at this android l if you have any particular questions regarding this android l do post them in the youtube comments below i'll try to answer them thank you this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video